Okay guys, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna look at schedules. Okay, so um, in order to look at schedules, you first need to understand parameters. Um, we have two types of parameters. We have um, project parameters and we have shared parameters. Um, the shared parameters generally are going to be um, shared between you know, projects or families and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, so uh, let's, let's first look at, uh, for instance, uh, a window family, and we're gonna look at those parameters a little bit more closely. So double click one of your windows and go to the Manage tab. <clears throat> um, when you go to the Manage tab, there's this thing right here called Shared Parameters. Um, if you jump back to another view in your project and you go to the Manage tab, you're going to see Shared Parameters and Project Parameters. Um, shared Parameters are parameters that uh, you basically create a parameter file and you store it somewhere on your drive. And whether it's a family or a project or a set of projects, you can basically boot up that parameter file and load in some of your standard parameters which is really important for like BIM management in an office because when you have um, like a door and window schedule, which is what we're gonna work on next, um, you're generally gonna have exactly the same columns in every project. I mean, normally you set up a template and it's all preloaded anyway, but you might need to actually embed those parameters into the families so they have those parameters as well, depending on where you get the family. But um, anyway, what I wanna point out is when you load a parameter into a family, it will then forward that parameter into the project, but for that family only. If you load a parameter into the project and apply it to a category, it'll load that parameter for every family, or yeah, it'll load it for every family within that category. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at this very clearly. So I'm just gonna create a shared parameter for, uh, sorry, not a shared parameter, um, a family parameter. So go to create and go to this little uh, double blue marker there. Um, this is your family types menu. So without, and, and this is just to create a one-off parameter, right? It, this isn't loading from a shared parameter file or anything like that. You can choose to do one or the other. So we're just gonna make one right here. Um, and I'm gonna call this, uh, well, let's see what we have here. We have um, materials and finishes, yeah, okay. We got sash glass pane. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna uh, click down here into new parameter. And uh, this one's going to be a family parameter. <clears throat> um, so I'm gonna call this, um, let's call this, let's, let's call it um, manufacturer location, right? Some, like MFR location. And you guys don't have to do this. I just want you to understand what I'm doing, like what this looks like. So MFR location, it's gonna be a text parameter and it's gonna be by type. So basically that's just telling me like when I load that family into the project, I can you know, either write out or do whatever I wanna do with um, designating where the manufacturer is located for that product, right? So I hit okay. Um, <clears throat> and so right now this uh, family in the project has MFR location under text, okay? but I go back into my project and it doesn't have that. There is no text column that says MFR location. Um, when I load this in, now this family has MFR location and I can go in here and type whatever I want. Okay, now, um, when I go to schedule that, depending on how things are set up, it may or may not sh be able to be shown in the schedule. Okay, we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, but let's do another category. Okay, so um, here in the project, I'm going to create a parameter. So I go to the Manage tab. And I'm going to create a project parameter. Whoops, uh, project parameter. And I'm going to add a new parameter. And you have two options. If you want to load it from a shared parameter file, you click shared parameter. If you want to create a one-off, you just use a project parameter. So now I'm going to go down to Windows and check that box. 
And I'm going to call this, um, hmm. we'll call it material source. Meaning like, where does the material come from, right? Where's that shipped, shipped from? <clears throat> um, so let's make that a type parameter. And um, let's also make that text. And I'll group this parameter under, I'll just call it under identity data or something like that. Okay, hit okay. And then hit okay. So now um, this family has that parameter under identity data material source. And I can type whatever I want, Italy. Um, alternatively, any other window that exists in my project now has that parameter where, um, let's pull up, these are all kind of the same family, I think. I don't think I built any with that with a different family. Okay, so this one says material source, but it doesn't show. Oh, that's the same family. I don't think I have another window. I used all the same window type. Do I have another window? No, because that's just a parameter. Well, anyway, if I had another window, if I modeled this thing properly, um, the MFR location wouldn't show up. Okay, so that's the difference between um, your family parameters and your um, project parameters. Do you guys have any questions about that before we proceed? No, Kevin. Okay. Next, uh, I think we're going to actually develop a schedule.